Anterior corneal scars affect vision directly by blocking the optical pathway and indirectly by altering the shape and hence the refractive status. Using corneoplastique principles, we can use these very factors and reverse them to our advantage. In the 5S algorithm, you can see the impact of the corneal scar on vision and determine the patterned approach of corneal rehabilitation and laser or direct laser and straight reshaping to vision. The refraction is the mainstay of the corneal scar algorithm where vision better than 2030 suggests straight laser PRK while less than 2040 following a hard contact lens trial can determine staged laser in two stages or a scar peel followed by myopic laser ablation. For sake of simplicity, I have divided corneal scars into on cornea scars like these scars which are above the Bowman's membrane and lead to a camouflaged topography as you see here and misleading refractive error. The incorneal scars which actually become part of the cornea and are directly responsible for the topography and have a direct correlate to the refractive error and hence can be lasered through. Instead of laser PTK that chases the scar and distorts the shape why not reshape the cornea and take it straight to vision? Let's see this algorithm in action. This is a case of a dense corneal scar following a herpetic infection 20 years ago. Notice the circular light reflex here is D-shaped due to high astigmatism. With fast movements, take off the epithelium except in the area of the scar, leaving that for the last. Following my corneoplastique principles, herpetic scars usually become part of the cornea, so you'll see a smooth surface at this point. Notice despite the smoothness, the opacity is in its area, but that doesn't matter. You will proceed with the refractive ablation at this point. At this point, we will apply Mitomycin C for about 30 seconds. You may even rub the surface or gently place this uh, disc-shaped whack soaked in mitomycin so it applies to the central cornea. Notice now on application of BSS solution the light reflex which was D-shaped has now become circular. This translates to vision. In on corneal scars like these they can be peeled off right under the laser in what I call a resistance guided technique where you Pull on the scar but make sure you remove it completely in one piece using the rest of the cornea as your resistance platform. Here it is. This is then followed by laser PRK to emetropia. In deeper on corneal scars like these, they can also be peeled off using patience and a resistance guided technique again to gently peel them off the rest of the cornea once again, try and maintain the entire piece as a single removal technique. Once it clears the visual axis, you can proceed with the refractive laser PRK ablation as seen here. Mitomycin C application. Complete central clarity to an excellent outcome. Therefore, understanding on cornea and in cornea scars, like this is a case of on corneal scar that followed laser scar peel followed by laser PRK to 2020 vision. This is an in corneal scar which underwent straight laser PRK to 2020 vision, including central clarity. In cases of corneal dystrophy like this, we combined it with lamellar keratectomy and cataract surgery at stage 1 followed by laser PRK as stage 2 to complete clarity and emetropia. In cases of RK, this is a dense incorneal scar that underwent straight laser to clarity and excellent refractive outcome. In this RK case, this was an oncorneal scar that was peeled followed by laser PRK to an excellent endpoint. Therefore, in summary, incorneal scars can be lasered 
directly in the PRK mode as you can see here shaping the cornea and indirectly removing the scar straight to a visual outcome. In cases of on corneal scars as you see here in profile the scar can be gently peeled off keeping all the principles we discussed about using the corneal platform as a resistance guided technique in lifting the entire scar gently in full completion of the remaining cornea. As you can see here, this is then followed by laser PRK with mitomycin C and a bandage contact lens to tremendous visual outcomes. So no matter how bad the scar looks, let's use our algorithm to insist on taking patients straight to vision with the most elegance we can. Here are some immediate post-laser outcomes. This is absolutely amazing that I can read this fine print. Uh, I understand the post-operative instruction. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing.